America's Report now. Tonight, we're focusing on hate crimes. The FBI reports hate crimes are on the rise here in Wisconsin. There have been more than 70 reported so far this year, and not just within city limits. They're happening in rural communities as well, where reporting is just not as common. Julia Fellow reports. It's not just an attack on an individual or even a couple individuals, like the Temple shooting. It's an attack on a community, right? Something we saw firsthand in 2012 with a Sikh Temple shooting in Oak Creek. 40-year-old white supremacist Wade Michael Page killed six people and wounded four others before he died by suicide. A hate crime supervisory special agent Christopher Farrell is working to prevent from ever happening again. The FBI um, places a high priority on civil rights. Um, especially hate crime uh, investigations. His squad has several hate crime investigations open right now. And new data from the FBI shows that as of 2020, we are at a 12 year high with more than 8,000 hate crime incidents involving over 11,000 victims. More than 60% of those incidents involved a person's race. While the number may seem high, it is believed the number could be even higher when you consider cases not being reported. What's going on in our rural communities in Wisconsin? The rural communities um, is where we definitely need to do outreach. Communities in a rural area might not have um, connections to the FBI. Which is why the FBI is getting out into the community and showing vulnerable groups how to report hate crimes. Know that. Um, they can provide information to us and that it'll remain confidential. One of the groups the FBI has met with is Elevation, a Milwaukee organization aimed at elevating the local Asian community. Eric Kennedy is a co-founder. I think it's just coming to, to understanding that historically we have been told to keep our heads down and to go about our business. In the last month, Kennedy, who was of Korean descent, was a target of hate speech as he was walking out of a local business. It's unfortunately sad and angers me that we are still dealing with hate. Kennedy reported this to local police, and that is where the FBI plans to do its next outreach. Agents have already gone over hate crime laws with Milwaukee police and Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office. If this is something that it falls into a, a federal hate crime, and then we work very closely with the U.S. Attorney's offices. Examples of federal hate crimes include someone caught putting racist graffiti on a home belonging to an African-American homeowner, which could mean up to a decade behind bars. Anti-Semitic graffiti on a synagogue is punishable by up to 20 years in prison. And physical violence on a victim during a hate crime could put a defendant behind bars for a minimum of 10 years to life. Maybe there is a lone wolf that's planning to do something. Usually at some point someone thought something was strange, right? And if they would have reported it, it could have been prevented. A reminder to remain vigilant and that our community has much more work to do. Julia Fallo, TMG4 News.